Hello and welcome to another edition of Press the Action Button Podcast on digital-delirium.com and boy do we have a full house for you guys tonight. Let's start off with the newest member of this podcast. What? Everybody say hello to t <laughs> Wow, this is serious shit. <laughs> 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 okay. You don't even know. The line from him is Glitch. Say hello to the people, Glitch. Hi, Pete. Hi to the people, Glitch. <laughs> Moving on is Dr. Drew once again. Yo. Say, insult the people, Dr. Drew. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You all are faggots. You are. It's true. <laughs> Duh. Winning. Further down the line don't is Slacker Chan. Say hello to the people, Slacker Chan. Mine is science here! <laughs> trying too hard. Oh, I did it. Trying too hard. No, that, that, that's a reference to uh, kick ass. It's a reference. I'm looking you straight in the eyes. So am I. I love you. I will be too. We're not quite done yet. Say hello to the people, D pad. Oh, yeah, as usual. Yeah, yeah I've been here like. D pad! Like what? Like what? Half, half of the episodes, would you say? Uh, probably more than that, about like uh, uh, 60, you, you are, you've been here more than anybody else. He's been okay. here 60, Apart 60 from times. Me, and that's our considering Apart from me time. and Game Face, who I'm going to introduce next, you've been here more than anybody else. Well, since we have such a, a intense crowd today, I say we skip introducing Game Face and we just go right on to the first I don't think he would appreciate that very much. Just say to hi to the people, Game Face. Oh, you okay. <laughs> He doesn't even have a microphone right now. Grab the microphone from your brother and say hi. No, we can't all just stop it and listen to what I'm yeah. going to whisper um. across the table. <laughs> T-Bag is saying something very volumetric right now. All right, look. Alex has just shown me uh, the DVD version of Kigassia, which fucking... that. Why did you buy a DVD of it? Because <laughs> I didn't feel like having... It comes to, like, with, like, three commentaries. Come on. Of people that aren't famous. <laughs> no one no is famous. That's got to count for yeah, something. Do you know how many people are famous? Anyway. But they're uh, entertaining. If the, nostalgia, if the nostalgia chick listens to this, which she doesn't, because she's not that guy uh, that whose life we're trying to Higmo. change. Hey, Higmo, by the way, Higmo. Props, to, Higmo, props to you. We, we know you exist, and we all love you. And we're trying to change your life right now. Okay? Higmo is secretly Alex. <laughs> Alex yeah, goes me. back and listens to this every single but week I, after we record it. And I molest her, babe. But I, I live in Los Angeles, and I very well know that she has moved to Los Angeles because I was super disappointed uh, that you took the jump from New York to Los Angeles, and I'm super disappointed that you're enjoying Los Angeles. And I think I'm going to try and get and you... And you still live there, why? <laughs> I'm going to... a bike there, dude. we got to talk about video games, not... Real well, people. Talk about how you're gonna do her first. I'm not gonna do her, but I'm going Don't to personally. You, he's gonna do her. From one internet celebrity to another, uh, I'm gonna try and get you to sign this in real life outside of a convention. Super. I'm not even gonna. Pre- you're not gonna see it coming. I'm gonna pretend I don't know who you are, and we're just <laughs> meeting up or something. I don't. It's weird. Then you're just gonna whip it out. I mean the DVD. Yeah. I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah have you introduced yourself yet to the people, game guys? I'm gonna whip the hey, deep game face. This is Alex. He's the Al- game face. Sorry. Alex. I'm gonna, he's Alex. He's Alex Al- is fine. He's I'm a gonna, very autistic retard. Yeah, that, yeah. I'm going to. Thing. I'm gonna whip out the DVD, and you're gonna sign it and be like, "Wow, this guy, he is fucking weirdo." <laughs> <laughs> but enough of that. Yeah. You've already instilled plenty of confidence in our listener. <laughs> and your ability to podcast. <laughs> I'm too aware. I'm just, I know he's there. Whatever. Okay. You guys want to get onto the beer? Because that took four minutes to do introductions. <laughs> yeah, we should. You wanna, what are we drinking? That's what we're what drinking. Are... Molson uh, Canadian? Yep, you jumped the gun on that. Okay. Let's crack them. I don't have one. Hey, wait, wait, wait. No, <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> Okay, okay. Do we, Why don't just, do just move the box over drink, here? It's going to be a long night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Glitch doesn't drink a whole we got one, we got one. one. And Dr. Brew doesn't drink at all, but so I just wanted to make sure. I'm a sipper. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's the best kind of beer drink. On three. Three, two, two, three, two, <laughs> three. one. You guys uh, were cool. so out of sync. And you we did it on one. You cannot crack beers 
We've tried. That is probably one of the better attempts that we've made at cracking beers in sync, actually. Sometimes there's like a whole second delay. I don't know. With beer, it's always in harmony, I feel like. I mean, as, as long as everyone's sharing the moment. <laughs> the warm, <laughs> smoothing sensation, the warm, soothing sensation in the back of your throat, as Game Face once described it. The splashing sensation. Whatever. You put a waterfall in the video. Yay. Let's talk about video games, because no one does that. Yeah. <laughs> God, no. God forbid. <laughs> Glitch brought over Portal 2 on his Xbox 360, and we were playing that before we did the podcast. And if I may say, it was awesome! Which is why we're doing the podcast at 10 o'clock at night instead of like an hour ago. We all got here at It's not like they can tell what time it is. We don't usually edit this until Thursday anyway. <laughs> I usually edit this on either Tuesday or Wednesday because I'm lazy. Sometimes I do laundry on Friday in case we're all... But see, my Friday is three hours before... Uh, whatever. Friday, 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 Friday doing laundry on Friday. Friday. <laughs> oh. I now wow. disrespect you guys a little more because of that. <laughs> Dude. It's okay. Wait, wait, wait. That's okay. Everybody wait, does. Wait, wait. It's okay. I showed them that video. <laughs> does that mean you disrespect him even more? He's I do. I respect do. Now. <laughs> He's negative respect do. now. <laughs> I respect. No. You know. You know, you know who showed it to me in the first place? Charlie. Well, Charlie. I haven't seen Charlie in even Hold longer on. than you. Hold on. Charlie knows all the words, and he listens to it every Friday before he goes into work. I regret a lot of things about my younger life. And, uh, Charlie's one of Charlie's them. Well, I mean, hanging out, now that I know that little tidbit of it, I used to think you guys were cool. I really... <laughs> I mean, there was a lot to think about in that time, but it's all just... You heard parody the song Friday gone. for three seconds. It's just shattered. All coolness was shattered. Even into my adulthood. Just continual disappointment. I think Mad Magazine will parody it and call it Fry Gay. I think, that's so clever. Huh? Teabag, I think that's how we all feel Why don't about we our just lives? call it Everybody Hates Raymond? <laughs> well, we were up all night, but it was worth it. Portal. Portal, Portal Combat! Yeah. Uh, the Portal Combat video kicked ass. I like that. It was funny. They should make I a just game. farted. They should make oh, Mortal Kombat with the Portal guys. No, I, I leaned forward that. when I farted. I yeah, like, I it'll waited, be... And then I was like... Yep. He'll be the only character that doesn't do damage and is really just there to annoy. Sorry, it doesn't all have to be funny. Then they could hit somebody with the portal gun. <laughs> that would oh, be God, funny. Nice. They could hit somebody with what, the portal gun. What does happen if you hit a person with a portal gun? What did they, like, disintegrate? They, uh, oh, get... Yes. Bruises? Bruises? They would be able to jump into your face. face. You would be able to jump into their face. Or any part of the body. Well, I it would be like being John Malkovich. Hold on. I seem to remember in the first one they were saying, like, don't get too close to one part of the gun because, like, it could kill you. Yeah, the front, of the, the front of the gun. Right. So I would imagine if you got hit by one of the actual, like, portals, it would, like, rip you apart or something. What the uh, fuck does it matter? It's a game. Yeah. Not to mention there's no <laughs> hey, 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 it's a game. Hey, 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 it's a game. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, hey, sorry, hey, sorry, I didn't I bring forgot. this up, man. It's a I game. Forgot. Commentating. It's Alex, has, Alex has the worst face, like, <laughs> this has all gone to shit. It? But plausible quotes. Oh, I, did, I expected... Oh, this is typical. Mechanics, science is yeah. Not. I expected this to go to shit. There's like 50 people it's here. Like w blue sky people. We can't. We There's can't like talk Alex about. Here. That's the, why I went to shit. The hey, theology hey, of why. Dude, that has the greatest sweater. There's ever so many people. Can't take your eyes off of it, and that's not helping. You know? It, it uh, took it's so uh, beautiful. Like four minutes to introduce that. everybody here. That's how many people we got. Yeah. Can we pause? What? We pause? No, no, we can't pause. What? No, <laughs> if, what? If you listen to this and there's three what more you, than two talking people about? talking at the same time, you cannot understand it. It gets annoying. But no, it doesn't get in... annoying. It gets inaudible. Uh, you can't well, hear anything. You should definitely cut that out. Right. If you're trying to make a quality product. Oh, oh, quality shit. Product. Oh, shit. Define quality. Yeah, I don't think that's really us. Quality is Portal. Portal 2, guys. I yeah. think we all have a... Portal is quality. No, I no, no. Are you ready? Sex with Amy Lane. Our audience doesn't know who that is. She has Down syndrome. Do you Hedgepath? Do you Heathcliff? I saw. Her I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I don't mean to insult you, sir, listener. I'm new. 
I e lived a different life. Igmo. 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 Let's directly respond to you. Let's make a friend out of this, guys. Hi, Igmo. Hi, Igmo. Hi, Igmo. You, you know that. Hi, Igmo. <laughs> 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 You know Higmo's just Alex, right? Oh, Higmo's the sound guy for uh, I know Higmo! I gave you the damn CD. Okay, okay, so Porto. Let's is there another topic? Is there Porto wasn't even we a topic? We haven't even gotten to the topics topic yet. Or we just what's the to topic? Let's talk, let's talk, let's okay, talk. No, I just mentioned Porto. Okay, what's the topic? What's uh, the topic? Carlton Heston. No. He's seen a lot of monkeys in his day, hasn't he? <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure you've said that several times on this podcast. No. No. Okay, so topic. Okay. What are we getting to? Wait, come on, come wait, on, direct us. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Are you down with the coon print? That's the third time. That's the third episode we've mentioned. Hey, I am. But as my parents have told me, uh, plastics is not some weird sort of... It's not a direction, okay? It was a line in a movie. And no matter how much I yell it at the top of my lungs, <laughs> plastics just isn't meaning. So let's let's direct ourselves. Are you talking about the graduate? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But we need more than that, okay? We need more, er, just like he needed more. I'm getting the feeling that you're Matt Damon from Google Hunting here, and... Matt Damon! Anyway, topic. Topic. Come okay. on, direct us, direct us. You're all aware that the PlayStation Network has been hacked and has been down for over a week, right? It was actually Nirvana. It was actually... It, so yeah, it was Nirvana. It was Nirvana. Kurt Cobain came back from the dead just That's to right. destroy the PlayStation That's Network. Right. Or, or so actually... Fuck it. No, because it wasn't anonymous. It wasn't anonymous. No. Who no, cares? Was, I don't want to totally get anonymous, anonymous involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> anonymous was already involved because they were hacking the PlayStation Network like a week before it went down. But their no. pricks will get way too hard and then they're going to start listening <laughs> to this. I don't want to... <laughs> fuck them. They're yeah. a bunch... Whatever. Anonymous yeah, we has no it like anonymous. We, have no we said fuck Anonymous. Anonymous so is Higmo. You didn't even finish half your paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't even gotten to it yet. Anyway. Sony says that the credit card info was kept on a different server, so the oh, credit card info goodness. might not have gotten to the hackers. But they are urging that you keep an eye on your uh, credit card info if you have a credit card wow. up to the PlayStation Network anyway. Wow, they have also gotten serious. the FBI and mm -hmm. Homeland Security involved in investigation of this hacking. They are also encouraging you to change your password. Another example of how useless Homeland Security is. <laughs> Video games. If those people uh, can hack the PlayStation Network, what else do they need? Like, they've already spent their whole lives... Their whole lives... To, <laughs> they've devoted everything to doing that, and they obviously have everything they could possibly want. Like, what are they really going for here? What oh, do they more money? A whole no, shitload of jail time is what they're you know what? Wind up. With. Yeah, no. What are no, they? No, I hope they never get caught. On, I kind of, I'm rooting for the underdog here. Oh, I kind of hope well, they get away with this. They did, you they want did. people who just committed mass identity yeah, theft I to do. succeed? I, I don't. Ballsy. Okay, I don't. Dude, that's ten million not. people. Uh, what what has been? Ten million people tries to pull some crazy shit on us, and we need hackers. Okay, guys. Just one thing. Thing. I don't one want hackers thing. like them, I want hackers with a conscience. You one guys thing, don't even know what... Okay. Identity, cry. I, okay, identity theft, D-pad, did you, have you ever had a PSN account and done anything on PSN? Um, no. Okay, well anyone who has, and I've bought one thing, could, you know what happens if you Yeah, you'll want to keep an eye on it. You'll want to keep an eye on they your credit card information. Credit. They can take all your money. But they're can talking I, about millions here. I think, it guys... Can, can I say something about the people who hack this? No. Yeah. There's they can... no proof who it is, but everyone already knows who it is. There is a group of programmers that, that you know, the guy who cracked both the Xbox and the uh, iPhone. Him and a bunch of other people together managed to crack the PS3, and because of that, because he did, Sony was threatening to sue them, and they sent uh, they sent out an email saying, "Don't sue us." Or will attempt to hack the PlayStation Network. So you and think they it was didn't that drop the, guy? So they didn't drop the lawsuit, and then as soon as they said, no, we're not dropping it, that's when so quote, quote unquote anonymous tried and failed. And then a week later, that's when this happened, and even though they didn't take responsibility for it, it probably was them because one of the people that helped uh, crack in the first place, Jeff Bridges, used to work for Sony. 
So this whole thing happened because, supposedly, because Sony was suing them over something they didn't really do that was, really wasn't even legal in the first place. I want the sources. Anyway. This is... Uh, I know, I get it, I don't I get think it, I it was it. ever actually proven that they, ha uh, that they have any of no, our identities. No, there's no proof that they, they... Right now, they don't... No, I mean, just that it's a threat sure to the actual that. people on the... But it's a threat to about 10 million people. Yeah, 10 million people. I thought you have a better a chance of winning the lottery. Winning? Well, I Just think if these second. people <laughs> were trying to steal credit cards, 10 million card people is a lot of people, man. I think they would have. Really. I think they would have acted if they were trying to steal people's information. And people die. No. Yeah, still, it, no, it definitely right. would have sprung up by now. People with their accounts and well, how much money could you get out of 10 million credit cards? Think about it. A lot, but I don't think that. I mean, that's definitely. Traceable. They're not trying. They're not trying to hack for credit card information. They're trying to uh, prove point, point, yeah. hack for something else. I don't and think I think that's have... cool. And they are going yeah, to wind is. up uh, with serious jail time because of this. Well, I think if they, if they, they go to jail, I will send them postcards. This Perfect. sounds a lot hack like Die Hard Four, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you think it's going to be a fire sale? <laughs> oh yeah. They're <laughs> going to get Bruce. Uh, Oh, wow. Bruce Lee, yeah, let's bring him. Yeah, let's bring him into this. Whatever. Uh, he punched a guy in the stomach so hard that the guy died, and he's dead. What and then he went, "I am a man." <laughs> don't reference those things. Yeah, I'm connected to a channel We've already. Yet, so don't okay. say that yet. We've okay. already. We don't connect to anything. What, what's wrong with Channel Awesome? Uh, <laughs> no, channel Awesome is awesome. <laughs> He's like embarrassed by Channel Awesome now. He doesn't. He doesn't want to reference Linkara. Why? A little bit. Know, some of them. Did you are already no, whip what? it out to Nostalgia Chick? No, I don't know any of them. And by the way, Nostalgia Chick, sans my haircut, I am quite cute. So. <laughs> 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 I like that girl with the goggles better. Chick with the goggles. Chick with the goggles. Yeah, chick by a slim goggles. margin. We're not. No, this is just going to degrade into us trying to see who we can fuck. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want because we'll. I'll go like I want the. I want Spoony, and it will be weird. It's weird that we know all their names. Just I don't even send know. us don't nudes. Know names, Give us your screen name. I know Spoony's real name. It's I know like four of them, but that's like, on his website. Everyone knows that. It's already degraded. We're I know what this and that and this Look and that. that. His uh. Name is like posted several places on his website, so if you browse his website for any amount of time, you're gonna find it. How much time? <laughs> How much time do you spend browsing his website? Um, I've seen every single, or damn near every you're single video he put on his that. site. You're not supposed to admit to that. I'm not supposed to admit to being a fan of Spoonie. Because he's just a dude. You've seen every angry video game nerd move video, Guilty. so there you go. Guilty. That's 101 videos. Guilty. But why do you know I, that's I, 101 yeah, why videos? Why do you know there's 101 videos? Because he did I didn't his know that. 100th video and then he did one more. <laughs> but that's but a, still, I don't even know what you guys are talking about. The angry video game nerd. Yeah, I, I have a <laughs> wife and not a vagina. Aww. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little mean. So whatever. To, to uh, people PlayStation with lives or vaginas. You used to, but she left. Can we get a final thought? No, 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 that was mean. Wait, that was really mean. mean. Uh, in a personal there... way that the internet doesn't even care about. Uh, <laughs> can we get like a final? Can we get a? Can we get a final like thought on the PlayStation Network? Myself, I'm done. Chris. Fuck <laughs> hackers. What he said. Okay. Andrew. Yeah, I agree. Fuck hackers. Tim. Yeah. Fuck All right, Ian. Power to the hackers. Fuck you. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Uh, You're a fucker. We needed the center, Alex. They're uh, gonna ruin. They're potentially ruining about 10 million people's lives. Potentially. That is not cool. Dude. It's Motives a paradigm shift, play. man. Their time will come. Alex. Hackers. Uh, All right, cool. D-pad is just being a troll. Just no one listened to him. I already said fuck hackers. Well, let's move on. Then. Okay. Yeah, I think it's been Oh, ne next one is also about the PlayStation Network. But don't don't, don't say that word. Serious. Never call me that. All right, guys. All right, all right. Next. The PlayStation Network is going to go back up in about a week. Sony is giving everyone 30 days of PlayStation Plus for free. Or if you already own, if you're already a subscriber to PlayStation Plus, they're giving you an additional 30 days for free. 
They also said that there will be other stuff that they will give away for free, but they did not name what it was at this point in time. There will be a firmware uh, firmware update, and it will ask you to change your password when the PlayStation Network goes back up. I'm actually looking forward to this because I've been really wanting to play MAG lately. See, just the fact that Sony's willing to do this makes me think that these hackers had other motives. Think of how much money they're losing just because of that. I mean, they're giving so much away to everyone. Everyone who isn't affected. Even, like, no, they're not looking out for all credit total, cards. All total, this is about a 70 million users have signed up for the PlayStation Network, which is a shit ton of people. And they're looking at 70 million accounts potentially getting a free month of their pay for premium service. service which that's that's a pretty big deal that's a lot of money out of Sony's pocket that they're giving away so I don't know if this completely makes up for them being hacked and a whole lot of people getting fucked over this but it's definitely a huge step in the right direction everybody likes free shit you know I'm definitely saying Sony is not at fault here at all. I'm looking oh, at the, of course. I'm looking at the motives of the hackers. Like, they're definitely Xbox users. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even give a shit about the things that PlayStation is giving away. They want... They're trying to take PlayStation down. Like, that is so much money PlayStation is losing right there. So Se- would you say it's in their interest to someday take over the world? Of course! Sorry. First Wait, all right, all right. Whoa, seriously That's though, um, right. I I get what you're saying though, but just a quick note: I don't think anyone would bother trying that hack Xbox because it's it would be too easy. <laughs> what? That's no, seriously, stupid. it's Microsoft. No. They no. Every, Microsoft all is the, way easier. All the Xboxes are going red ring anyway, so um, no, I'm kidding. No, I definitely. What's the point in hacking a network? These that's people, red ring? these people definitely have a motive against PlayStation. There's not. I mean, the I mean, what? They're not going to steal anyone's credit card information. Seventy million users signed up for the PS network. They're about not about ten million credit cards. About ten million credit cards. Seventy million signed up for the PS. Well, well, luckily I only fault. have fifteen dollars in my account. Yeah, so yeah. I well, I'd, still, with much. I'd still keep an eye on it just to be on the safe side. To be on too, the Alex. safe side. But I'm saying that 70 million, that's 70 million users yeah. times the <laughs> amount of people that they're going to credit this thing to, this free month of whatever, that's a lot of money lost to PlayStation. And they're not going to be able to get, I mean, 10 million accounts, not a lot of people, a lot of accounts, and you can't, that's so much information. But if all 70 million users get their free month, then, I mean... It's what, like two or three bucks a month? But how much money is that ultimately? It's like 140 million if it's two bucks a month. But I think this shows a, a good mark on Sony, though, the fact that they're willing to give this back to the users, yeah. even though they weren't at fault. Right? Yeah, their terms of agreement say that they don't really have to do anything. They don't have to yeah. do anything. That was a big deal when they updated, like, the, uh, one of their newer systems was it was causing older PlayStations to overheat because the new uh, OS operating was telling it to run faster than the old ones could handle, and it melted, like, something like 5,000 units, and when people complained and petitioned about it, they were like, hey, you you agreed to our user agreements, and it says, if, even if that happens, it's not our fault, we don't have to do anything about it, and a lot of people were pissed about that. That's only 5,000. Yeah, I this know. That's everyone. I know. Everyone in PlayStation. Right, network. I know. And if PlayStation loses everyone in their network, uh, it's going to cut into their profits. Well, no kidding. <laughs> like, well, a lot. Is, this is going to cut into their profits because I think a lot of people are probably going to lose faith in Sony over this, which is a little sad because they should be blaming the hackers and not Sony, but it'll probably happen anyway because there's lots of different people in this world. No, definitely. But I definitely this is this is a fine example of kids at recess, and a few of them are fucking it up for everyone. <laughs> That's exactly. Right. Basically, There's people up there with the big hats and the sexual repression. Oh, don't even get me started on the sexual repression. Don't listen to the people with the sexual repression and the big hats, people. I got so pissed at the big hats when our foursquare got taken away. And this is what <laughs> the fancy I mean, not, fucking hats. 
not inadvertently, but this is what these people are doing. They're taking our Foursquare away, and I definitely think that I'm being way... I've got a, a, a genuine story here. I definitely think we're being too... I'm being too political about this, but I mean, whatever. Well, it's these... a very political topic, for, at least for video games. It is. Games. For video games? Well, I mean, yeah. They, it's I not mean, this is video even... game politics. That's what we're dealing with here. <clears throat> even casual gamers. This affects everyone. Yeah. It's not just the hardcore guys who listen to this. That's great. It's not just us sitting in the square trying to talk about video games. It's every Mike, like Andrew, it's all those people <laughs> who wanted a uh, high definition Wii and bought it with the PlayStation Move, you know? Yeah, Andrew's got a fucking Xbox. No, I don't. You, you did. I have a PS3. You do? Oh, I, thought I, bro- I thought your brother had a 360. I think I'm we, a there's two, you, there's two PS3s in my house. Oh, both wow. my brother and I... Or one. Doesn't your brother own a? Does your oh, brother really? own a 360 yeah. though? Yeah, my brother has a 360. I thought so. Well, I mean, okay. As much as Andrew hates everything, <laughs> <laughs> it's do, true. He does. I do hate a lot. I mean, it's there's a lot to hate about a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> and uh, read. Let's just even that. Even I mean, he's still affected. He's on the PSN. I mean, it's... My credit card's in there. Yeah, oh. it affects every. It's affecting everyone. Oh. Even every... Like, I, everyone who just bought a PlayStation once and played it for, for whatever reason. Right. They thought it was cool. They were trying to impress a girl. Like, they're affected by this. Yes. Even the guy who has... Hey, baby. Even... Wanna go have <laughs> sex and play PS3? PS3? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you wanna come over to my house? I got a PS3. They're like, Ghost what the fuck is that? That would totally be uh, you. Hell, e- even the guy who like the fuck's a hasn't PS3? been Is this on his a sex toy. Even even a guy. Oh who... yeah, let me tell you about it. Oh yeah. We well, you know what. Oh, yeah, so okay. Well, even the person, around. even the person who uh, <laughs> yeah, hasn't been that, on yeah. his PlayStation Three in say like three weeks, say he's like, I haven't been on in a while. I want to just relax and play some fucking games, whatever. He turns it on and oh, the thing's down. You know, that's really big inconvenience because the guy. I don't know. Comes back to it. I don't know. It's not working. Personally, I have a P. I have a PS3. You don't and go I get on PSN. That's no. right. No, that's my point exactly. I don't. And even if I wanted to. I, I could wait two weeks. What what's it going on? It's been for it's been two weeks. Uh, yeah, they're supposed to come uh, supposed to come online next week. And it's gonna be next week. So this whole thing is gonna pan out in three weeks. So if I wanted to go online and play zombies with some random guy, I'd be like, oh, cha, tough. And even if I put down money on my account, say if it was like $20, I'd be like, oh, cha, $20 of mine went to a higher cause because somebody out there hacked the PlayStation Network. That takes balls, man. I'm just you know saying, what? like... Them and their fancy uh, well, hats. I have a question. Dave, I don't know how big of a news story this is. I have a question for you. Okay, you okay. Guys. Somebody, say, somebody hacks into say? Nintendo's network, then it's personal. No. Um, somebody <laughs> cracks into, into Sony's network, more power to no, it. No, it's personal for me. I, the PlayStation 1 is my all time favorite video game you, system. No, D Pad, you seem to have this pseudo, like, freaking hippie commune thing that, like, fuck the man! But no, Sony has not agree, done. Fuck the man. No, no. But not, Sony not has not done anything man. against society or man or woman. even the little man. Sony has but actually been there for the most no, part. No, Sony's for us. a good company. And Sony's well, a good company. And, more I, power and I do, and I do hope they get back on on the that's track like pretty you soon. Saying, here. No, but that's I, like I'm you just saying, saying that Sony steals your credit card information, dude. and you're glad they did it. Oh no! Fuck that yeah, guy! Exactly. And if, that, if someone did that, I'd kick their ass and, and Ma- hang yeah, them on a tree. That's what they're doing. But you that's what they're doing. Business. No, no, they're not. They're not. They're, they you know, they, they're letting a, they're letting a bunch of people what? There's, no, there's no, no, dude. One there, that, these hackers are not that saying. That hasn't been proven yet. These hackers are not going fuck Sony. These hackers are going fuck Sony user. Yeah. They're going fuck the small guy. And that's stupid. That's wrong. They're stealing people from. They're stealing money from they're people stealing like people? you. They haven't. There's no evidence that they've stolen money from anyone's account yet. No, they did. One person. The the one the, guy. The guy who's in charge. He was Dude, the guy who's in charge of the uh, uh, the PlayStation Three, the, that part of the company. Apparently, all his information was stolen. And the well, there it was caused her eye. Directed. It was. Huh? It was caused her eye. It was yeah, bringing down. That's what the, I heard. The, I don't know if that's true because I don't have the internet. I can't so confirm that. But I heard I his information was stolen. So, they went on his internet and. Like, well, yeah. If I was a hacker and I just hacked his phone? network, then I would probably do that. Is, 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 is Tom money. coming back? I might as well. You, if you started a business and someone hacked your server for whatever reason, you'd be pissed too. I would be pissed, but if they stole my money too, that would I wouldn't be any more 
pissed. I'd be like already maximum. You know pissed. what? You know what? If these guys had hacked, say like th these were small time guys and they're like in their little apartments or whatever. Let's say they hacked like the CIA's network. Yeah, that would be awesome. But no, they, they, they just hacked Sony, and it's obviously a personal vendetta. Sony lovers are still going to be able to play Metal Gear Solid. No, they won't. But they won't be able to play Metal Gear Online. They can't do that right now. Oh, for three weeks. Okay, you know what? are they going to do? Die? And they're they going to go outside, and they're going to see that there's clouds, and there's a sun. Oh, you're one that talk. Well, you're, you probably play more video games Dorlox? here than all of us, except for maybe... Uh, the PlayStation will leave, lose even more money. Okay. Okay, that door wasn't locked. Could you lock that door, please? Then uh, we'll get to the uh, third topic. Okay. Okay, you guys want to get to the next topic? I can't believe we're on the third topic already. Wow. Yeah, we just go through the time more. The first downloadable content for Portal 2 has been announced. But it's it can't just be downloaded. DLC Pack One. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been released. They don't have a release date. Okay, it's just called DLC Pack One. It Original. will be. Free, which is awesome. It will contain new test chambers, okay. leaderboards, a challenge mode for both single player and multiplayer, cool. and more. more. Leaderboards? Yeah, what was that not standard? Like, seriously. Well, it's probably leaderboards for the new test challenge. Arkham Asylum was a story first person. That was like a story mode only, and it still had leaderboards. It's um, what are leaderboards? Leaderboards are where players you know, are No, you're not seriously answering this. He's retro though, you gotta give him some slack. Yeah, Alex, wait, were you serious? It's oh, like, really? yes. leaderboards are basically like a modern online version of uh, high scores. You know, yeah, yeah, high scores. Gotcha, gotcha. They're basically. I, I apologize, Steve Bang. I've, I've never thought, heard it. If somebody I, asks a question, I'm gonna answer seriously. Oh, I thought it was it's gotta be for everyone, so people don't know what leaderboards are for. I myself oh, okay. had a, a very large learning curve on why would anyone do this. Leaderboards are where people are ranked online so that every player across the nation connected to whatever network, Xbox, Wii, PlayStation, uh, they can be ranked. They, I, I they apologize. I thought he was being that's sarcastic. That's gay. No, it's cool. No, it's cool. no, no, dude, that's no. cool. I, that I encourages competition. About, Definitely. What you're talking about, I've just never heard it called that. It, no, it, it encourages the competition that every gamer wants right. because everyone, they all want to be compared to one another. You know what? Hey, serious game, serious my gamers go into like arcades back in the day, and they go, fuck, I can beat that score. But my question is, why did that not come standard with the game? Why it is did, but DLC? It's, it probably means leaderboards for the new test chamber. Okay, that would make sense. I was, I was going to say that. I lost the game. You're mine. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All your base are lost the game. But this is really cool, I mean... In case you were wondering if Valve likes you and really appreciates their fans, yeah, they fucking do. Hey, you want more maps? We'll give it to you. Free. You want more multiplayer and single player content? We'll give it to you. Free. I don't know, I'm still kind of pissed about Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. Well, Left 4 Dead 1 and t it's kind of like two ideas, y you know, the same idea basically expanded on with Left 4 Dead 2. And that was it. Um, I have a question. But Left 4 Dead 1 was so... I mean, it was good, but, but there was no, so little content to it. Exactly. You paid $15 expecting more downloadable stuff, and they all of a sudden just say about like a half a year later, oh, by the way, buy this for $50 to get everything in the last one, and all the content that was promised for free. Yeah, that... Yeah, yeah, that was kind of BS that they didn't follow up on supporting that. But for the most part, Valve has been really cool to their customers. Like, for example, when they released the orange box for PC, many people already owned Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 2 Episode 1, me included. They said, you know what you can do? You can give Half-Life 1, or Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 2 Episode 1 to somebody else for free. Because you are, because you bought two copies of it at this point. Um, can I just say real quick? I hope they don't pull a Fast and the Furious when they come to the fourth game in the series, and where they just name it Left 4 Dead again. 
fight with the four capitalized or some bullshit like that. Well, what was the what was the fourth Fast and the Furious movie? I, I think was I know it was like Fast and Furious was, Two Fast no, and Furious just called, Tokyo Drift. I, no, no, yeah, the fourth one was just called Fast and Furious. Oh yeah, I forgot about it's that. It's like one. the Rocky movies, like they named <laughs> the fourth one. Or well, Rambo. Rambo. Hell, the fourth Rambo is just called Rambo. Rambo. Can we be honest? Uh, no. Who gives a shit? Like the fourth Rambo was awesome. Why are, why, why are people arguing over the names of games? Don't you care more about the content of them? I'm not really arguing. It's just I just wanted to add the game of names of games. The, the content of the first game of the first Left 4 Dead was pretty bullshit, to be honest. There wasn't much there. There was four maps, and that was it. You well, paid. It, I mean, that's like down. That's like a downloadable map pack really? that you're paying full price for. Real quick, let me just say about names and with uh, games and everything. A lot of people ask, like, how did I never play Zelda? Well, let me tell you why. Because no one, there's no chronological order to it whatsoever. So and that, what? Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's just a personal pet peeve. I've tried and to convince I, hardcore Zelda fans that there's really not much of a chronological order. And I understand that. And they insist that, that there is. But well, what, those what types of Zelda games, fans said that? I'll kick their ass. I've, I've argued with many of them over the internet Each about game that. Each game has its own story. You know what? You're getting into Zelda. I know nothing about it, so I'm going to take have this you off. Played, uh, have you played Twilight Princess yet? No. I, I should let you borrow my copy of Twilight Princess. It will work on your Wii. No, I'll pirate it. Well, I can say I can say this. I can understand how Zelda fans... I can understand how Zelda fans would be pissed. Uh, because, essentially... I don't like it in the game store. You probably get it for, like, cheap now. You're not leaning no, into the still, mic. No, I check. I check. It's still like $40 used. Yeah. It's crazy. Look, I can understand I it, okay. how, yeah. Zelda ga- how Zelda gamers would be pissed, because essentially uh, they get pissed when they try and change up the gameplay, and they get pissed when it's still the same. And when anyone tries to do anything differently, everyone gets angry about it. So, you know, they could make some definite, definite changes to the series that I would not be pissed off about at all. If they made this... If they made the uh, soundtrack completely orchestrated, that would not piss me off. If they gave the game full voice acting, that would not piss me off. But it would, but it would piss off a it whole would. lot of Zelda gamers, and I don't know why. I don't know why they're so afraid to advance. Look, because people know. are afraid of change. They are. People, you look. All right, Zelda gamers, here. This is the fucking lowdown, and I will fight you on this. And I am in shape, and a man. I don't, I, care, a I don't care how big you, how big your e dick is. <laughs> we'll go. All right. You're either playing it for the story or for the same thing over and over and over again. But even the stories, quite often, apart from a few here and there, tend to be the same basic idea over. And over. You save Zelda. I mean, I mean you travel like through time. Have travel like, through over the ocean. You save Zelda. Expand on it and even it something like that. Twilight Princess was brilliant because it did that. That was like one of the best features about Twilight Princess. It's uh, Midna was a very, very in-depth character. And I, I'm not aware of the video game community, and this is not another uh, just bullshit question. Do people care about Twilight Princess? Uh, it's a Zelda game, so yeah. yeah all right, fair enough. The the, um, the Wind Waker game where you're out on the ocean, everything's cell shaded, and you play Zelda uh, Link damn. as a kid. I loved it. I, I loved, loved the it. sailing. I- Everyone complained about it. Like, what? When is Zelda like a little kid? And when is when is it? When is there no land on? It? Are you Did they kidding? Play the first I loved half it. Of Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Zelda well, was a little kid. Well, yeah, but I feel like after that point, it kind of segued into like a whole bunch of child games for like the the DS, and then a whole bunch of adult games like Twilight Princess, and the new one coming out. I hear is kind of uh, uh, all right. Well, uh, Skyward Sword. I think Skyward it's called. Sword. If, if we're that is epic. If we're still on this topic, um, I remember reading about how with the whole marketing and video games is Nintendo does very well because basically most of their games like Mario, Zelda, Metroid, those are all basically... <laughs> I had to think about Sorry. Nintendo. Metroid? What? Uh, uh, was that? Huh? Hold on, hold on. To be fair, Metroid, has made, Metroid made one major... Major change in, in advance. Well, far I'm, more I'm, not, than any I'm not about to say anything really bad about him, but basically. Mario. That's the fucking guy that makes pizza at my yeah, local shop, exactly. right? Mario. What makes him so successful market, marketing wise is the fact that basically all these games throughout the years, in the sense, are remakes. There's, there's no real. Really? No. Oh, no. Shut up. <laughs> no. 
So Innovation? Honestly, I honestly, that's what's that? Gamers it's, don't want innovation. I don't really. No. no. It's good for new. But like, to be fair, Metroid innovated. You can re you can keep reselling the same game in the sense that each new generation. And that's part of why I've never really been that hardcore with those games because they're just all the same games remade. Me Again, Metroid innovated. Metroid Prime is Maybe very very different play. in a lot of ways from Metroid One to. Metroid 1, 2, okay. Super Metroid. I understand that, but there's so much fucking content out there, and especially in the day and age that we are, where we could never, ever, ever be not in access to everything, we can get any sort of innovation we want, as small as it is. So, uh, Nintendo, on such a larger scale, is just trying to innovate to the masses, so people can see it, and people can be like, wow, they really innovated. But let's be honest. Every little innovation that they've probably done has probably been shown and exemplified in other games. Yeah. Like, Super Mario Galaxy Good was game. not the first Good to game. fuck with gravity. No, of course. For of example, course it wasn't. Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2 did. I remember that. It ticked me off. No, people hate Sonic Adventure 2 because people were just pissed at Sonic. People, <laughs> people, yeah, were, just, people were pissed that you didn't play as Sonic throughout the entire thing. Right, and I mean, fuck you guys. Uh, let's be honest. Yeah, of course. But I really think why people are pissed off at all the innovation and all this other crap with uh, Zelda, and especially with the lineology of it and not having the same name and all this other stuff, is because they want more story. They know they're going to get more of the same. They want this and they want that, and they want to be able to argue, well, this happened, this, and this, and the story. It's like it's just like a long movie. It's like the same nerds that argue Star Wars. Like They just want... <laughs> They just want to be able to know more about him, and that's fair. Like, I completely understand that, but can we all just shut up? You're playing video games. Aragorn Zelda shot has, first. The story has never been the main focus of Zelda to begin with. It has always been on the puzzle solving and the gameplay. This is the most we've ever stuck just, on topic when you're here. Just gray people. Just gray. Just fucking, it's gray. Nobody's actually gray. You know, I just realized there is no black people in any Zelda game. Yeah, Can the I Gerudos. I yeah, the Gerudos are black. The Gerudos? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Those like the fucking mm, clicks. Hold on. Hold on. Now, what is this the telling us? <laughs> that things are just black and white? You know that you have to kill the gray? And Ganondorf, because he's evil, is a gray area? Because who knows what evil is? Who knows what good is? Maybe and evil... And you have to kill. You have to kill the gray area. You have to exist within the black and the white. Uh, PlayStation Network hacking. <laughs> Got way off topic. Yeah, what's the next topic? We gotta get on the next topic. We gotta get on the next. We from that a long time ago, and then we were talking about Portal Two downloadable content. Well, let's bring up. Let's let's, let's focus here. No more plastics. Let's focus. <laughs> okay. What's the next? next Starting topic. on the seventeenth of June, the Red Box will the Red Box will expand the video game rental market to twenty one thousand machines spread across North America. Redbox, that's the yeah. uh, the rental stations. That yeah, the rental stations you see in like grocery stores. Right. I was thinking right. of Orange Box for a second. Though. Yeah, and see, I was the rental. Maybe will will we'll, we'll Redbox carry Orange Box? Okay. <laughs> Can I finish the topic, please? No, I just no. wanted to clarify. Where DVDs are a dollar a day, and Blu-rays are a dollar fifty a day, video games will be two dollars a day. Question: Wouldn't anyone willing to do this just? Sign up with what's the equivalent of Netflix except Game for the Fly. Game Gamefly? Yeah, what? Wait, I don't understand why would anyone who wanted to rank games would go with anything other than Gamefly. Like, I'm just saying because like, anytime you go to any video rental store like in the past and tried to rent a game, all the good games are always gone. Look, I feel like this is <laughs> as a complete dick. Uh, <laughs> I just can't resist the urge to ruin other people's lives. I know, I Troll's can't. Gonna troll. I have tons of tribal Death tattoos. I have tons of tribal tattoos. Uh, I fuck tons of women. Not beautiful, but they have fake tits. I... I you visit the Silicon Valley. Oh! I do. I know exactly where that is. I have a membership. Uh... <laughs> This is setting gamers up for a huge... This is just... This is a downfall right now. People are going to rent those games for months, and they're going to forget about them, and they're going to go into huge credit card debt, and they're going to waste their lives. Well, I, by my standards. Real. Only by my standards. I'm not saying they're wasting well, their lives well, on no, yours. No, 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 because uh, the movies you can only keep for like 25 days, and then they just charge yeah, you that's right. like an extra amount, and then you own it. 
Well then, I guess people are gonna buy a lot more games. I really <laughs> think. Yeah, like, that's where this is. Basically, they're gonna spend one hundred and twenty dollars on a game. Basically, no, the, huge success. They're setting up for a huge success. Right. I went to rent something from Redbox once. I put it. I, you know, I, I, I entered a selection. I scrolled through some menus and it's asked me for my credit card. And then it gave me a bunch of disclaimers. And I got lazy and I went home without it. <laughs> <laughs> Because it asks me too many questions. You don't expect that many questions from something that kind of resembles a vending machine. Uh, but after, after, after the first time you use it, it's like it's a cakewalk. Yeah, it's like, birth certificate? Like, 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 Why does Redbox like, want my birth certificate? <laughs> my first girlfriend? Why does it need to know that? Yeah, my political. I didn't remember what her name was. It was so long now. Yeah, it was just one night. I it was Alex. <laughs> do not, don't do not tempt me this much. Do not tempt me to turn far. this into an Obama joke. Look, okay, yeah. let's not. We don't no, have to. Please turn, yeah. turn this into no, an Obama no, joke. No, no, we don't have to turn this into the first time Lawrence drunk. We don't have to. <laughs> oh Jesus! Personal, in, personal information. The audience doesn't need to hear. The first, wait, the first time who was drunk? Audie. Hi. Oh, yeah. Me, myself, Tom, T-Bag. Oh, yeah. Two dollars a day seems a little expensive. I mean, what, what was it at Blockbuster? Like, seven dollars for, for a week? For a week, I think. And then this is going to be fourteen for a week? That's twice the price. Yeah, but people will fall for it thinking, oh, well, I'll return it tomorrow. And, and some of them so. might. Some of them might some spend them might. all 24 hours just up and playing that game. And I admire you, but... Uh, not everyone's gonna do that. Well, they, they rent they Skyrim awesome. from the thing, and then they think they'll retire it tomorrow. No, no, they'll still be playing it tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. Don't forget what the hour next... they rented That's it. That's only if it's a good game, though. If, it, if you rent something like... I said like... Skyrim. Okay. Skyrim. That, but that's if you the rent next Elder Scrolls. Like, off, Say you rent, like, Terminator <laughs> Salvation. Like, you'll... You'll, you'll return play... it later that day. You'll play it... If you return it ten minutes later, you'll put it in the system and immediately your system will just eject it and say, kill yourself. Your system, <laughs> your system will ejaculate it. Your system will be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Your system will you say, rented Terminator <laughs> Salvation. Your system will Dumb say, ass. the system is out. Are we saying the game or the movie? The right? game, the game is really fucking awful. Right? Shit, I lost the game. I lost the game again, too. Well, not that the movie was that great in itself, but... Well... well it, it's what I wanted. I liked it. I wanted I that. I liked it better than I liked Terminator 3. I was expecting more out of that movie. That's fine. I wasn't expecting a goddamn... I wasn't expecting Francis fucking... Ford Coppola. No, I wasn't. I wanted right. machines fighting men. I wanted all the crazy shit it offered. People being like, I'm ah, shooting guns and what is the future? I don't even care if it was correct or not. It's I like just wanted... Rambo. Speaking oh. of Terminator, did you know that once he gets out of office, that's like the first thing that Arnold Schwarzenegger wants to do? Do it in the future? Terminator. As be my as my governor, as my ex governor. <laughs> which is fucking weird to think about. I totally believe it. What a Would pimp. you support him as the next as as the Terminator again? Can I, I would. Can I just say I have met Arnold Schwarzenegger. Really? Yeah. No, I, no, I have. He wow. bought a new Bentley and I had to ask him about it, which fucking sucked because I wanted Wait, to ask him. When did you ask him? Like that's uh, right, paparazzi. About two weeks ago, I asked him. I've seen. Wait, you're a paparazzi? Him. I was. Oh, for wow, TMZ. For TMZ, wow. I don't want to push them. Guys, don't go to that website. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't watch that TV show. I don't care how much you care. No, I, I <laughs> actually saw Arnold Schwarzenegger, and as much as I wanted them to ask him about everything else, he was having a goddamn coffee at a Starbucks. So everyone out there who has coffee at Starbucks, you're on the same fucking level. Don't push his celebrity. I... He's a good guy. He rides a bike. He rides a bike for like 10 miles a day every day just to keep in shape. And I think he's doing that. I pedal. I pedal. What is the difference <laughs> between 5th gear and 6th gear? I cannot feel it. I cannot feel it. How much further to the nearest Texaco? I'm racing <laughs> faster than most cars. You, <laughs> your engines are girly, You know man. what? No. I Just sh- like the uh, okay, Democratic wait, wait. Party. Guys, <laughs> he did say. Guys, Steve Bank's trying to say something serious here. Let, let I think I just bricked. Here's why I don't support it. Because Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, doesn't belong in the Terminator series anymore. In fact, they wrote him out quite successfully in the last one. And if he's well, trying, even then they had like five, what, like five minutes of CGI Arnold. Yeah. And that's fine. That was enough for the fan service. Yeah, I think like, that was perfect. People wanted to see Arnold in the next in the next movie, but the way they set it up, like, yeah, he's a machine. He gets killed. It was he was mass manufactured. It's fine. 
We don't need to see him in the next. We don't need to do any of that. Well, he doesn't I, need to I be think sort if of. He's in the to next be one, truthful, we did not need a Terminator Three or a Terminator Four yeah. because Terminator I hated Two ended it fine. No, I definitely agree. But because we have a Terminator Three, which is the the pivotal point of ruination right here. <laughs> exactly. Definitely. Oh, they didn't even, like, come up with a real excuse for continuing the story. They're just like, oh, by the way, the ending of Terminator 2 was wrong. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Uh, and let's just fucking erase the show from our memories, anyone who wants to post <laughs> fucking watch the term. Whatever. I actually heard that the Terminator TV show was a whole of a lot better than 3. I'm sure, no, and I'm sure it was, but can we just not, we don't, Shows have no place in, like, fuck it. Fuck anyone who wants to bring it up. I don't give a shit. Although I do question, like, I mean, okay, I can accept they sent two Terminators back to try to kill him and his mom. The same Terminator. They just send, keep on sending Terminators and Terminators and Terminators. But the show? How, I mean, how many Terminators did, I mean, there's, what, two seasons? How many Terminators did they fight it? Twenty-five. Uh, <laughs> they're supposed to go. They're supposed to go through one at a time. That makes. And they can send them through one at a. Or do they just keep like powering up and sending them back and back and back? And back, and back. And, yeah. See, look, the that show's stupid. Cause why didn't they just send that huge fucking Terminator that would have destroyed everything? It would have totally fucked up all of America. No one could have dealt with it. It would have fucked it up. Why didn't they just send that back? You get into that argument. It's stupid. Fuck it. Where are you going? I got one topic left. Uh, keep, 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 keep going. Keep going. Let's just something up. It's just the movies, okay? Let's just talk about the movies right, here. The right. show is irrelevant. Yeah. And everyone online had better agree, because uh, I'm going to speak for everyone. No one will talk about it. Yeah. No one will talk about the arguments you bring up with the shows, because why do you watch TV? Why are you... Movies are where it's at. I don't really watch TV. I watch, like, the Simpsons <laughs> on DVD. That's about it. What was this goddamn I, topic? I think it was... Portal? Last <laughs> this topic was, uh... Rent video game rentals with the Red Video Box game rentals. Expanding. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, I Welcome guess... Welcome to the podcast. Maybe, maybe Red Box is Scott. <laughs> Do not give Red Box money because Red Box is now officially Skynet, according to Glitch. Well... Let's move on to the, the next the topic. Reasons, last topic. So the reasons for anonymous hacking the PlayStation Network is because nobody fed their hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a blast from the past. It's all irrelevant. You remember that? You remember that, guy? All right, final thoughts, final thoughts, you Josh. You said that. Josh, final thoughts. What's the final thoughts on this red box? There was a first one. Well, um, I think $2 a day is a little expensive, and... I think the game selection is going to pale in the comparison into what a brick and mortar store would have had. I completely agree. I think two dollars is too much because the people are willing to buy it and they're willing to charge. Chris? Uh, Chris, I uh, agree with the whole. It's too expensive for you know two dollars and all that. But I think it's mainly used for like people who do it for like achievement. Uh, do it pretty much all the play games. For achievement horse. Yeah, trophy horse or whatever, but. Yeah, to same, each his own. Same basic thing. Um, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, yo, what the fuck, Tim? He hasn't sorry, spoken I'm in a while, but he still gets a voice. Well, he still gets a voice. Yeah, I... Two bucks is a little steep, but I can see it working out if you do a short term. But I mean, yeah, if, if Blu-ray discs are $1.50, I don't see why the game shouldn't be $1.50, too, because yeah, I don't you know, get that technically a PlayStation disc is a Blu-ray disc. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, that would make sense to me. I, well, if you're a trophy whore, let me just say right now, go with, you're probably going with Gamefly, and I'd say stick to it. Um, I mean, if you're a casual gamer, and, you know, you see a game that you think, you know, you buy maybe a game once every month or two months, and you see a game you think you might want to buy it, but you're not sure, I see that as a good solution. Or if you don't have the internet or whatever, but otherwise just go with Gamefly, because... It's it's just honestly like Tom said earlier. It's a it's a trap to set the companies up to make a lot of money. All right, Ian. Uh, I don't know. I think I feel like movies are two hours. You know, you watch them, you form your opinion on them. It makes you feel like, oh, I feel like I was going crazy when I watched that movie. But a game you can play and you can play and you can play <laughs> when and every time every time Words. it's a different experience. So I don't know if they the want to charge a little extra. Well. To be fair, the game does take longer to beat than it does to take watch a movie. You can watch a movie in one evening. And you can't beat Quite a often, movie. you can't beat a game in one evening. Obliteration so, I mean, is imminent. imminent. And you can't beat a movie. I mean, you 
just have to accept it. You can yeah. beat a well, movie if you're a film snob well, and you want to be better than any of the other people who saw the movie. Or if you late. read a porno and you beat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then who, who did you hey, really beat? Bop, bop. All right, Alex? Um, I just got a CNN news flash that Osama bin Laden is dead. What? What? Really? Yeah. Hold on. Whoa. That's gonna be all really? over the news. That's gonna be all over the news. You heard it here first. Well, not really, because it's gonna come out next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quick joystick. Uh, VC, uh, VCNN breaking Osama bin Laden is dead. CNN John King's reported Sunday night. Crap. Sunday night citing sources. I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, last topic? That's yeah, right. but I think we want to see the death certificate. Please. <laughs> <laughs> we do want to see the death certificate. <laughs> what I want to know is if anyone's getting that $25 million. All right, guys. Let's probably, keep... He probably just fucking died of yeah. the lack of dialysis. Yeah, yeah. The man was like 80 and lived in a cave. They he died of natural know. causes, they everyone. Don't hit it on patriotism. They probably just left his body in a cave, and the U.S. came in looking around and was like, what's this? Oh, they probably just I don't unplugged his it. dialysis machine for I, a yeah. while. Alright, let's. We're, video game oriented. Who gives okay. a shit about the actual world? And what, <laughs> I, okay, you guys let's. Remember, so those of you who were here last week, you remember talking about Miyamoto saying that uh, you should not believe everything you read on the internet and basically saying that uh, the rumors about the next gen Nintendo console were not true? Yeah. 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 Okay, well. Turns out about two hours after we recorded that podcast, they they doubled back on that and said, "Okay, yeah, we are developing a new console." They haven't announced that it is Project Cafe. They said they haven't said if it is Project Cafe or not. They just said that they're working on a new console and the controller will be innovative. And uh, we should expect more details at E3. Let's just get a, we're running a little close to the time here. Let's just get a complete last thought over everyone. Uh, well, what, what, where are we at? Are we at like 55 minutes or where are we at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, so what? It's no biggie. No biggie? Yeah. No biggie? No, what I'm concerned I'm a newcomer. About this, like this one, if this is Project Cafe, Project Cafe is supposed to have a six and a half inch touch screen in the controller. You know how big that fucking controller is gonna be if it's six and a half inch? It's gonna be, be like fucking gonna, like this. It'll yeah. be the Atari Jaguar. Yeah. Hey, don't insult the Jaguar controller by saying that. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about the buttons being on the screen and you being able to arrange them, as well as having physical buttons and the thumbsticks and everything. So it's pretty much gonna be a tablet PC with analog sticks. From the sound of it, that will be the controller. That's fine. I mean, tablet but, PCs are handheld, and all the controls are right there. Plus, inches, they could change. Big. They could change the controls depending on what the game, and I think that could turn out pretty cool. Yeah, but, but six, six and, and a half, half inches, inches is no, still too big. No, it ain't. No, it fits in your pocket. It's, six and a half inches does not fit in your pocket. Yeah, six and a half inches sticks up above your freaking. Well, you don't no, really six tight and a half pants in your pocket. Diagonal. Right, let me, as a casual gamer, who the last game I played was Batman Arkham Asylum from Halo. I, the last game like I fully played through and enjoyed was Halo. I thought you just said Arkham Asylum. I did, no. Like, before that, it was Halo. Oh, like, okay. alright, I'm one of those casual gamers, and I only wanted to play Arkham Asylum because of Batman. Hate Thank me you. for it, I don't give a shit, I live a life. I love you. I don't give a shit about the internet. Um, that's a huge learning curve. I had such a huge learning curve just for Batman Arkham Asylum, and I know many of you who listen don't care about casual gamers. That is such a... To have a full you six... Higmo? Higmo. We love you, Higmo. <laughs> to, have, to have just a six-inch touchscreen on your controller is a ridiculous learning curve for anyone who just wants to sit down and fucking jump and shoot. That's a six-inch touchscreen. That does, that's not to say if there's f- just four extremely large up, down, left, and right buttons on it. <laughs> they can have infinite. They can have so many. Buttons. So many possibilities. I, I gotta, I gotta say, like another thing on the whole Nintendo innovation thing, which like they're trying to do again, it's innovative to gaming, yes, but. I think, like, Nintendo with the innovation is kind of like a celebrity who keeps getting plastic surgery. <laughs> it's like, they're going to keep innovating themselves until they just, it, everyone's like, this is ugly. And none of their this innovations not, seem to work. Yeah. They do temporarily. They're like, yeah. oh, Everyone's did you backlash. hear? This is the new thing. The but backlash. it doesn't just yeah. have to be the new thing. 
And I think Nintendo's going to innovate themselves to death. And they're, yeah. they keep going away from I don't know. I figure gaming. if they haven't done it by now, it wouldn't have been done. Just you know why? Project Cafe I mean, is just a rumor. The further yeah. detailed specs about Project Cafe are that it's more powerful than the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. <laughs> that it is high definition. And that it has a Blu-ray player in it. Which that no. last one sounds very, very unlikely. Because I think they would need to get Sony's permission to do that. Yeah, Sony they, ain't gonna give it to wait, them. I, I might be wrong about this, but didn't Sony actually create Blu-ray? Well, they co-created it with someone else. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. don't they also have the rights to the next big thing already? Yeah. Sony? Yeah. Probably. See, so, yeah, so, okay, let's <laughs> let's let's say for instance that Nintendo's their new system, right? It is more powerful than the Xbox or even PlayStation 3. All right, consider this: the next Microsoft and Sony systems are going to be like literally like put their old systems in the dust so much so that like even if the, the say the new Nintendo system is more powerful, the new ones are going to be monstrous compared to. Them. So, it, it so you're really saying it'll be kind of like the Dreamcast coming out, and then like systems coming out that are way more powerful. Right. Yeah. It, it's going to be. It, it might be hot for a second, but it's the anything else that Microsoft and Sony comes out with is just going to blow it out of the water. To be and fair, I think real quick, I think the whole innovation thing is the running on this simply because. They, like, aren't they, isn't the Wii, like, running off DVDs? They're not even on HD DVD? Yeah, the, the like, Wii doesn't even output, in my definition. Right. It, out, it outputs in 480p at the highest. So, they, they can't even get, they can't even get the shit on HD DVD, and how, how do they plan to ever be able to, they just really can't compete in, in hardware Okay, well, first they of all, they're competing the globally. They went, their well, no, last part step of, was, they... They tried to get global, they tried to make the Wii available to families that never owned a DVD player or even a game system. Except that the Wii does not have, does not play DVDs. Which is Well, they don't, but you can, uh, dumb. you can yeah. link to, uh, to Redbox also. Netflix. Ne yeah, Netflix. Netflix. Um, you can do that with the PS3 too. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that with the 360 as well. And the but iPhone. still, the i- the, Yeah, and the iPhone. Well, the Why the hell do they have that on the iPhone? I don't know. Who wants to watch a movie on a screen that's like this big? A little tiny thing. If you're stuck on an airplane. Well, what I understand is that... Yeah, that's why you have laptops. Well, what I understand... Well, you can't always take that. You can't use a laptop and yeah. on an airplane. I've never been refused a laptop on an airplane. Using it? Well, I've used laptops on airplanes. With wireless? Yeah. I've also used my cell phone on it. Did you say, did you say boobs. he has a boobs? Boobs, boobs. Oh, boobs. There's Ion's boobs. You gotta get to Ion. He's not in here, buddy. Go find anyway. Ion. Um, well, I, I, from what I understand, what kept the, what made the Wii successful wasn't the innovation with the controllers. It was that they appealed to a higher yeah, age they, market. It was, they, it was that they had tried to appeal to everyone. Right. And they did everyone. With this, they're trying, with this, rumor has it that Nintendo is trying to appeal to a more hardcore and the rumor is that they might be supporting two consoles at the exact same time. The Wii for the more software market, and then this new thing for the more hardcore market. Yeah, I know, I mean, because who wants hardcore porn when they just want to watch, you know, some titties? <laughs> exactly. Right in, both sides. Can't believe the show's still going on. Well, no, you're absolutely well we can't, absolutely we can't right. end the show unless you're here, dingus. Hey, I'm here. Both you're absolutely here. right. All right, let's get a final thought. We're running over. Let's get a final thought. Yeah, we Josh are running out. Strategery. Josh, PlayStation, or Nintendo, with whatever. Well, I don't even know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they bring out at E3. I doubt that Project Cafe is any good at the rest of the internet seems convinced that it is because it seems a little far-fetched in, in a few ways. So I don't think that's it. But again, we'll see it either. Okay. E3. I actually have been sick of this topic. Can you believe it or not? Yep. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really pay attention to any of you guys talking. So I'm just going to say, I just hope Tron's next. <laughs> Tron! Okay. I don't know. I, I'd i be excited to I see what they could do with like a new controller, like a new take on a controller. But other than that, I think they're gonna. it's going to be... 
too little. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that as I far really as the controller goes, they I don't know. They're obviously going to test it before they put it out. They're just not going to make it and put it out there and be like, "Well, let's hope, let's see how it does." No, they're going to they're going to test it first, see if it's actually usable, enjoyable, and it might be at some level. But in the end, I don't I don't think it's going to work out real well. And yeah, the rumor I, I, is. That... I honestly believe Nintendo is eventually going to end up like Sega, where they're going to stop making systems and just focus on games from now on. That's hard to imagine. I, yeah, I, I really I hope that's it. not the fate. Well, I know a lot of people Nintendo. hope that's not what happens, but it, well, if you it know just a lot about like Nintendo that Corporation, they were they have been around for a hundred years and they've gone from one thing to another thing to another thing. They used to make playing cards. Well, I'm not saying but they're, they're stuck with uh, video games and video game consoles for. Upwards of 30 years. Well, yeah, not... but maybe in the 60s they were like Nintendo. Oh, they only do like tacky motels. Well, well, stuff with tacky yeah, but there motels. weren't really like, there wasn't really a video game market in the 60s. Okay, well, necessarily they're not going to, I'm not saying they're going to fail or anything. It's just they might not be able to hold on to the system. Yeah, maybe they'll the be like system. Virgin. Maybe they'll be like Virgin and they'll take up space flight. How cool would that be? Nintendo the rumor, Nintendo space. The rumor has Nintendo it. moon base. <laughs> We're flying in the moon base! Ah! Okay. Be like the Nintendo Hitler. Nazis in space. D-pad's final thoughts? Well, being D-pad, I've noted that uh, there, I, Nintendo has caused a, a bunch... It's an iconic figure for a lot of different gamers out there. And a so lot of Sega. different people... Yeah, well, Sega was always kind of like the younger brother to Nintendo. And I think that Nintendo is just gotten such a big fan base that I, I really hope that their fan base is enough to defend its position from where it is now. Because, I mean, going global... Sega kind of it, fucked themselves over, though. Yeah, but they joined up with Nintendo, and that's why they're awesome. Sort of. They but still make games for the other consoles. Risk, if you've ever played Risk, you branch out first, you grab up what land you can, and then you build your forces. And I hope that that's what their plan is, and I hope that's what they're you doing. You spread too fast, too quick, though, you'll easily be destroyed. Yeah, We're well, planning I guess we'll a strategy! <laughs> <laughs> and the bag we'll is now asleep. Not asleep. Okay, final thoughts, Alex. End it! Is this just about this topic, or yes. about... Yes, this topic, and okay, then we'll Nintendo, about. one thing to guard your secrets. I have three words for you. Lockbox. That, that's not three words. No, that's it, but that's it. That's, that's the end of the show. That's Bye. The okay, this has been another edition of Press the Action Button Podcast on DigitalDashDelirium.com. As always, I am your host, Joystick. With me this week... Was T Bag? Say goodbye. Hello, my name is T Bag. I'm also part of RobotSeizureComedy.com. Please check us out. We're located in Los Angeles. We're also open to doing any sort of comedy event. Thank you very much. Robot Seizure Comedy, huh? Cool. Shameless self plug. Say goodbye, Glitch. Remember, folks, don't drink the lemonade. Say goodbye, Dr. Drew. Down with the coon trick and fuck you. <laughs> Say goodbye, Slacker Chat. Wait, wait, wait. I can totally see T-Bag's balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say goodbye, Slacker Chan. Fuck your couch! Okay, okay say goodbye, D-Pet. Hey, see you later, guys. Thanks for listening. Hickmo. <laughs> and say goodbye, Game Face. Tank Fly, Boss Walk, Jam, Nitty Gritty. You're listening to the from the Big Bad City, and this is PTAB. Signing out for another week on the streets of the PAE. Once again, next week is episode 50. To make sure you tune in for that. It will be a very good episode, I'm sure. And we'll, we will have some cool topics, although it won't be typical. We will talk to you guys next week. Bye.
sorry, I'm a dream. The weekend.